Jack Saul at center court going opposite Nathan Knight and Virginia. Looked like they were going to win it, but William and Mary will start with the basketball. The traveling forest green uniforms. It is Virginia in the home whites in this series. William and Mary going to have to be very disciplined in their offense, running their sets through as Nathan Knight starts off with a little hook. We talked about Coach Shaver's keys coming into this game, and one of them was to be aggressive out of the gates, and we've seen that here already on a shot block from Diakita, who gets in the way of that attempt. From yeah, well, shot selection and establishing the presence on the interior will be big for the Tribe as Jack Salt. So he's in the starting five once again for Virginia for the second consecutive game. And now William and Mary working later into the shot clock on a drive from the aforementioned. Gave up 12 offensive rebounds to South Carolina, who scored 14 second chance points. And Coach Bennett saying after that game, that's something they're trying to shore up. Now William and Mary showing some zone. Virginia having to play against zone against South Carolina Wednesday night. I want him to find that confidence, but even if the shots aren't falling, to keep trying to go back to the well, he's just too talented. A little two-man game here, oh. and there's the payback on the favor from this time Nathan Knight blocking the shot from Jack. But as it stands, Virginia will have just eight seconds to work with now on the shot clock. Ty Jerome on courts of beauty. Good crowd here at John Paul Jones Arena, despite the fact that we're playing during the holiday break. Ty Jerome, a runner, and another good-looking shot. Virginia trying to stretch that lead of five further. They exchanged the lead a couple times in the opening three minutes, but Virginia starting to assert itself as DeAndre Hunter attacks inside. Talk about that more in a moment as the shot clock winds down. Knight attacking on key. Can't get the shot, but then the follow-up on the third try goes down. Turns it over, but Guy will track it down right before it gets to that mid-court strike. He lets it fly. His three-pointer off the mark, but how about Aaron Saltz as he comes flying through to lay it in up close. His second bucket already. So say the officials, and uh, yeah, we say Kyle Guy trying to get things alley-oop or shot. You be the judge. <laughs> Final holiday game before the Christmas break. Anthony's shot too strong, but there's Key to clean it up. Anthony defended by Thornton Scott. He's more the offensive point guard of the two that they've turned to this season. His Mamadi Diakite shows some skill. It got away in the end. Right now, they find themselves in a double-digit deficit. Virginia's running out of time on this possession, recognizing so much at the last moment. Ty Jerome heaves one up. William and Mary also sends Matt Milan back in. Huff does not waste any time as he buries one from straight on right off the bench per game allowed as they take that title back from Texas Tech who had it briefly before they played against Duke the other night. Nice move inside for Knight. The lineup right now for the Cavaliers. It's a combination of Clark, Guy, Hunter, Jerome, and Huff. Hunter with a head fake. Scoops the shot up and in. Dandy move from DeAndre Hunter. Millen, Lowy, Knight, Adij, and Pierce. Knight trying to attack on Huff and puts up a tough shot. Pass was bobbled but then ultimately controlled as Clark takes a look at the shot clock and realizes he's running out of time. And a nice job by Knight blocking that shot away. Kihei Clark lofts it across to Hunter. Now to Diakite with a big swooping jam. David Knight can handle, the, or Nathan Knight can handle the basketball. They, they've seen that in Exhibit A right there as he takes it essentially coast to coast for a chance at a three-point play. Kyle Guy's pass over the shoulder is to an unsuspecting Mamadi Diakite. Now Adige, the transition three, and William and Mary has its first long one of the day. Now it's Pierce to Owens. Got to work quickly. Owens with a contested shot. He hits it with a foul. To start things off, it's the same five that began the first half for William and Mary as it's the same start to the first half for that matter as Nathan Knight hits a jumper. Lowy will hand to Knight. Lowy, a Wisconsin guy, as Pierce unloads on the three, and that's the start William and Mary was hoping for. And you see the fist bump for Justin Pierce. Third try player to average 10 rebounds a game, but he can also fill it up as a scorer as Diakite gets good positioning down low and gets a good roll. Adige uh, starting in, inserted into the starting five to begin the second half with LJ Owens is Kyle guys three-pointer as he cans it from the corner and, In fact his high school coach played with Tony 
at Wisconsin Green Bay. And so did a friend of his family. So everybody knows everybody there. Here's a nice feed from Diakite to Salt, who says pass the Salt for the finish on the rim. Adij back to Knights. Count the bucket and a foul. Knights now missed a couple of baskets from the free throw line. Hunter gets a good look at a three and takes full advantage as he plants it right in the heart of the cylinder. Feeds Pierce, but Pierce couldn't hold on and he hurt himself. Jerome comes away with a loose basketball. He feeds off to Guy and Guy will lay it in on the other end. Shot clock winds down. Jerome with the teardrop. Kyle Guy with a rebound and the stick back. Sure, those trips go well. Yeah, Schaefer said no. Your job is to answer to me. I'm the head coach. You're staying <laughs> home. Kyle Guy, nice looking baseline jump. Have taken that from their experience at Virginia and in Coach Bennett's program. Owens off the mark, but there's Knight to clean it up underneath. Their side and double figure scoring wise so far. Braxton Key tries to get into the fray, and he'll do it. Owens hands it off, and Scott has it. He'll give it to Knight. Knight driving in on Mamadi Diakite using that size. I have a guy, he said he went to the law school. He went to the coaching staff, said, can we make this work? And the, the law schools worked with them, and production went up when conference play started. And so you can imagine if he can do the same thing again this year as he uses these. Oh. How about the finish from Chase Adige on the misfire? The difficulty, I mean, they've got six freshmen on the roster this year, and a, a group of whom are contributing, the freshmen for William & Mary, contributing for just over 30% of their offense. CAA tournament, boy, they have been so close. You want it for them. Is a nice drive from Lowy here as he manages to put up his first points of this game. What is now a 28-point lead for Virginia. Statman unloads on the three. Nixon with a rebound and a stick back. And with a 30-point lead, game clock and shot clock separated by five seconds. Nice move by Statman down the lane. Coast to coast for Statman. A 32-point victory for the fifth-ranked Cavaliers taking down William & Mary for the 11th straight time in this series.